All right, guys. I just want to thank you guys for 2.5K subscribers. So basically a quarter 10,000. I cannot believe it. Thank you guys so much for all of the subscribers. Thank you for all of the support on all my videos. Like, my videos have been doing good ever since the past two months. Ever since Sonic's Hangout, it's gone 500, and then my videos have been doing great. I just want to thank you all for supporting me, and due to all of the support, here's all of the stuff I have. So we're going to be starting off simple with this side of the collection. Right. So first off, we're going to start off with this plushie, my original side plushie. So basically, uh, the story of how I got this plushie is really special, because want to know why? I got this before I was even born. So basically, my older brother, yes I have one, he used to have this plushie, and then since well, he grew up and now he's an adult now, now he gave it to me, and now it's mine. See? And it's in pretty good condition. The only the only bad thing is just his leg kept on getting ripped. But since I take care of it, it's no longer a problem anymore. So, yeah. Alright, now let's get on to Modern Sonic. Modern Sonic isn't really too bad. He I also got him before I was born. And yeah, he's pretty similar to Sonic. That's that's because these are Sonic Generation plushies. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, Metal Sonic. I met. I recently got him like for my birthday. Yeah, he's my birthday plushie, and he's pretty cool. It's actually pretty nice to have a metal plushie, but although I was planning to get a metal plushie that was this size, but uh. I accidentally didn't tell my mom that, and I wasn't being pacific, but... I mean, hey, a metal plushie is a metal plushie. And also, this freaking thing costs 20 bucks. Anyway, let's move on to this one. Movie Sonic plush. I didn't buy him, but... My cousin did get him for me. And I thought it was pretty cool. I got, the, I got this plushie when the Sonic Movie 2 came out. I know this is a Sonic Movie 1 plush, but... I just got him really late because my cousins just gave it to me because, well, my cousin's nephew didn't want it, so, yeah. And here's Mexican Sonic. The reason why I call him Mexican Sonic is because my parents say that I got him from a Mexican thrift store, Mexican store, and I could tell, but, pe but uh, some of my friends have been telling me that this is, that's a Sonic X plushie. I don't know if it is or not. So that's why I'm just gonna call him Bootleg Sonic or Mexican Sonic. But in my videos, I, he's actually Sonic's grandpa. So yeah. And we can't forget these two. Super Sonic and Clone Sonic. Well, from Sonic the Zombie, I call him Clone Sonic, but I just call him Mania Sonic. I don't know what type of plushie this is, but I just got him because I wanted a, uh, another Sonic, so I just call him Mania Sonic, or I usually call him Clone Sonic due to the Sonic the Zombie series. And now this Sonic is, well, Super Sonic. He's just this Sonic, but Super. Yeah, he. I don't know what to talk about him with. Now the Eggman's here. This one is my very original Eggman, which I got from Christmas of 2019. And this one right now from March, uh, March 2024, this year. So, yeah. This was introduced in Slow Chuck. And yeah, this is his permanent change. Alright, so for Tails, I don't really have too many Tails plushies. I only have two plushies. I have Classic Tails and... Uh, modern tails. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have that much tails, but knuckles. On the other hand, I have a lot. All right, not a lot, but like three knuckles. My original knuckles that I used to do videos with, aka the original 100 videos. Modern knuckles, which I used for the future video, 
And this is my modern knuckles. The knuckles I use today. And the reason why I got this knuckles was because, well, this knuckles was way too big for Tails and Sonic. And it always annoyed me ever since, like, probably the Glover episode, I think. And yeah, that is why I got this one. Now let's move on to the Mario section. Now, this is my OG Mario. I used to have a... Well, this isn't really my Mario OG Mario. It was actually this one. See, basically, I watched a lot of SML back then and Supersonic Blake, and I was wondering why Mario's hat didn't f was like sewed on. Like, why was it? Well, it turns out that he cut the hat so that he can fall up, so his hat falls out whenever he gets mad. I did not know that, so I just cut the hat and I lost it. So, so uh, this year. Like, a couple months ago, like January, I turned him into a Dr. Mario plushie. It's a me, Dr. Mario. So, uh, yeah. I didn't know what to use this plushie for, so I just turned it into my own plushie. And also, I know there's a there's another official Dr. Mario plushie, but he was too expensive. He was like 20 bucks or something. This one, I got it whenever Toys R Us was back, and... Yeah, although I really wanted an all-star uh, Fire Mario plush, but I didn't really get it. I wasn't lucky enough, so. And also, here is Yoshi. I actually got him from Spirit Halloween, because I really wanted something there, so I just decided to get the cheapest thing. Yeah, Yoshi, he was 10 bucks, so that was good. Here comes Luigi and Metal Mario. I don't really like Metal Mario due to mm, the Summer of 22 incident. I don't really want to talk about that because I'll just be talking about my friend and I don't want to be toxic like that. So let's just keep that secret. Uh, let's just keep that a secret. And here's Luigi. He is funny looking. I really like this character. I, that's why I usually use him more than Mario during my Sonic videos. And there's Big Mario. I got him at Walmart because I just wanted a random plushie and, and also he was really cheap. He was like 10 bucks. And you're telling me this is 10 and that is 20? That doesn't make no sense. So let's move on to the other characters. Alright, now let's talk about the Angry Birds characters. So first off we have Red, the main leader. And also fun fact, Red, Blue, Chuck, Tiny Chuck, and Tiny Blue uh, these plushies were mine during back in like 2014 when I was three years old. Wow. Uh, and also I had a Terrence and Bomb and Matilda and How. Wait, no, I didn't have a How. No, it was Bubbles. Yeah, Bubbles. Bubbles, Matilda, Bomb, and Terrence. Those plushies I had. I didn't have a How plush, but I did have the rest of the crew. But I didn't have a Stella plush either, so. And I didn't have any of the pigs, so, yeah. I just wanted to tell you that fact. So, here's Red, Blue, Chuck, Tiny Chuck, and Tiny Blue. I also have some of the movie plushies back in 2016. I used to see a lot of them during claw machines, and luckily, I saved some. Here's Bomb, Movie Bomb, Movie Matilda, Movie Stella, and Movie Chuck. I swear I remember having a movie blue, but I just can't find it, or either I never got it. Oh, and this section is the indie game section, where whenever I have any indie game plushies, but right now I only have two series, the Cuphead series and the, and the Bendy series. So I have Bendy, Alice, Boris, Sammy, and Rugman. The reason why Cuphead isn't here, because he's in the side characters well important side characters uh section and yeah there's my indie game section all of these besides the sammy plushie but all of the bendy plushies i actually got them back when the f game first released it was pretty cool but uh another fun fact it wasn't actually me who got them it was actually my little brother who got them 
But I also like the series, so I just got it. And he wasn't even playing with them. He was just doing something else. Anyway, let's move on to the other section. The South Park plushies. Now, I don't really use any of them besides for, like, necessary scenes or something. But they're good to have. It's a nice collector's item, and... Yeah, the only time I'll ever use them is for, like, in whenever I can't find a perfect character. Or whenever I'm doing another school episode. But whenever I'm doing a school episode, it's usually, like, Stan, Kyle, or Kenny. I don't really use Cartman that much. He's too big. And I don't have any FNAF plushies besides Bonnie and Neon Foxy. So, let's move on to the villain characters. And now, the villain characters, I don't have too much. Be and the reason why is because I lost a couple of villains, or maybe... And because, well, some of the villains I don't really own. Like, the Bucky... The Bucky's thing... I don't know. The, I'm just gonna call him the Squirrel Plushie. So, basically, the Squirrel Plushie I don't own. That's actually my cousin's plushie. And the Lotso from... Sonic in Toy Story 3. I don't own that. It was my cousin's. So here are all of the villains that I own. Bully Boo. Uh, uh, Paper Sonic. The Bad Elf. The Robot from Sonic the Zombie. The Skeleton from the Halloween Party. And a villain that's not have been introduced yet, but he's going to be in the video. I, I promise. And yeah, that's really it. Oh, yeah, and Gaming uh, King Mario. Well, the Gaming King is right there, but he just doesn't have his crown. Hold up, let me fix that. There we go. I don't really know how to snap my fingers, so let's move on to the next section. The least important side, side characters. So basically, these characters are characters that I barely use, or I just remember not using at all. Now, wait, hold on, I think I made a mistake. Uh, Crash is supposed to be in here, part of the important side characters, but here, here are some of the characters that are allies, uh, least important characters, and yeah. So, these are some side characters. As I know these are side characters, but these are not, like, important side characters. For example, Shadow, Koopa... Patrick, the dog, Larry, Silver, Pikachu, and I don't know if you guys remember that Magic Microwave video. This is Magic Penguin. Basically, he's going to be part of the RSP movie. Here's the reindeer. Here's the bad elf again, but this, but the bad elf actually turned into a good person in the 2023 Christmas video. Bomb Mom is uh, Shadow's pet slash friend if you didn't know that this is the lucky block from that from the lucky block video chain chop which was eggman's pet i think from sonic the zombie i think here's kirby here's walnut and here's the shark the uh fun fact this shark was actually one of my f first videos i posted on this channel pretty neat Pac-Man, he's supposed to be gay, have, uh, liking balls. That's why I don't really want to use him that much. Here's Cheap Cheap from Sonic's Fish. And I got a cream plush for my birthday as well. And I promise I'm going to be making a video with this plushie as well. So I'm going to be making a plush video with this one. With this plush. And now let's go to the final section. The important side characters. Now, these important side characters are side characters that will 50% appear. So, basically, if I want to have, like, a big video idea, these are the characters that I'm immediately pick, uh, picking because these characters are kind of cool. I really want some original characters in my series. So, first off, we got Eminem's guy, which I got from uh, Goodwill. And he was only three dollars. Three dollars for Goodwill? That was pretty good. Now I think this Woody plush was around like forty or thirty dollars at 
Walmart. But that's because this pl this plush, well, I don't know if you could call it a plush. Let me just call it a toy. This toy was uh, was thirty or forty dollars. I can't remember. And this came out when Toy Story Four came out. I really, I really wish I had one of the older plushies that had like a real badge or something. And now we have Cuphead. Cuphead? Cuphead? I don't know if I should get a new one. Comment down below if I should get a new Cuphead plush because, first of all, his leg is missing and his arm is broken. Now, I don't know why he, he has no leg and no arm. I rem I specifically remember taking care of these plus. Look, like look at Mugman. I did nothing to him. Like I don't know why why Cup is like this. So sh so comment down below if I should probably fix him or give him a new leg or should I just like completely replace him? And now we have Neon Foxy, uh, Eggman's best friend. Fun fact. Uh, they both started a car car dealership company where they fix cars trucks and stuff and now mighty and ray they're pretty cool uh i got them at the same store i got him from and it's pretty cool well besides ray ray i got from walmart for 10 bucks which was pretty good and now crash crash uh yeah i just got him online so did, so was uh, neo cortex I got I bought I got both of them f for like twenty dollars, so I'm pretty sure it was ten dollars each. Now, fun fact: this took forever to come in. This took like one month just to go to my house. Oh man, it took a while. But anyway, yeah, and that is the end of my plushie collections. Oh my goodness, I have so much. And here's some extras that I didn't show you guys because, well, these plushies I didn't really, I don't really like never use in my videos. Like, I never use it at all. Alright, in this section, which isn't really a section, this is just a bonus section, we got these two dinosaurs right here, which was my little brother's gift, but like I said, he doesn't really like plushies, he just likes video games, so. Here's the, here's this big bear. I think he was the teacher for Sonic Goes to School Part 3, but I can't really remember that very good. And we have this Squishmallow, which I don't know why it was in my collection. I don't know why. It was probably my little brother. Uh, we have this sweet, cool teddy bear. bear. Uh, he's pretty cuddly, but I don't really use him. Fortnite Llama. I remember giving this a present as a present for my older brother. It's just a present, but he didn't really want it. He didn't really like use it at all. He didn't even put it in his room, so he just gave it back to me. So I wish I could have sold this whenever he gave it back to me, but whatever. And we have this potato chips uh, plush. I don't know why I have this. This is just random. Principal, Mr. Duck. He's a uh, fun fact. He's a uh, he's actually a puppet, so he's not a plushie. So that's what I really like about him. And I forgot to mention him in the villains. And there we go. That was my plush collection, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, these plushies, I, these are really cool. I love all of them. See you guys later. There's going to be a cream episode. And until then, goodbye. Oh, yeah, and also just to let you know, uh, you're awesome. And also, make sure to subscribe to my other channels. Make sure to go to my Discord server. Make sure to go to my Instagram. And make sure to go on Twitch to see if I'm streaming or not. And whenever I am streaming on Twitch, I can just uh, uh, put a community post to tell you to come and watch me play some games. And until then, for real though, 
Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, okay, I'm sorry, guys, but I keep on forgetting stuff. Uh, here's the Golden Chow from that one, from, uh, from, uh, Golden Chow Returns and Sonic's Pet Golden Chow. Yeah, I forgot to put him on the villain list over there. So, yeah. Alright. Until then, for real, though, thank you guys for watching. And thank you for a quarter 10,000 subscribers. Thank you.